Welcome to Toffee TV, it is the Everton News Daily. Everton have been linked with a move for Newcastle United fullback Kieran Trippier. Uh, the 33 year old is believed to run away from Newcastle after losing his place. Um, unused sub on Saturday as well. Obviously, this is a player who played uh, quite a lot of games in the Euros, just gone, um, and obviously still wants to play at the highest level and be first choice. Uh, and it's believed that Everton have an interest in him. He is very close to John Dyche, and um, they've always been close since their Burnley days. Um, and he's also very close with Jordan Pickford as well. Who, uh, he has said that he's his best friend in football. So, a couple potential reasons why he'd want to move to Everton. Sean Dyche was asked about it in his press conference today. Let's hear what he said. He's one of many names that's come up here. Um, as if by magic his name comes up when we haven't got a right back available. It's funny, though, isn't it? Yes. What's mysterious? Uh, no, yeah, it does do it. It's incredible. So, Sean Dyche being a little bit bullish here. And listen, it might be two and two. You know, two plus two is equals five on this one. Who knows? It well, it was in the Athletic, normally a decent source. Um, let's wait and see whether Everton can get their ducks in a row. Um, I, 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 I think it'd be a decent deal if Everton could get a loan deal. It would be hilarious if Everton had three right backs all in the mid to late thirties, and he, you know, he's the youngest one. Um, but he probably would be our best right back if he signed. He can also play left back, of course, as well, where he played for England during the Euros. So um, let's wait and see what happens over the next week. Um, the manager was asked about business in general in the next week. Obviously, the transfer window shuts a week tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Let's hear what he had to say on that. No, I think it's unlikely. Um, you know, we've worked very hard in the market. We've brought in players who we think can develop into the Premier League. You know, they're not all... Um, game ready, you know, straight away. But we think they're good players and can, and can grow into the club and to the Premier League. You know, if you take, you know, Tim's done ever so well. I think Tim's minutes were about, I think league wise, I think he had about two games worth of minutes last season. Um, you know, Jasper about eight, Illy like seventeen or something. So you know, there's a there's a long way for them guys to get to full Premier League speed. But we believe they're very talented players. So Jake slightly differently played a bit more. Um, and then when you think of that and working very hard to get them deals done um, and losing players as well then there's not much more wiggle room I don't think um, and if there is then that's helpful if there's not then that's the way it is so obviously the manager not expecting too much business to be done but who knows if Evan could get some players out then things might change if things are desperate enough and they do seem a little bit desperate now um, the manager revealed that there will be no new players back in fact uh, James Tarkowski is a doubt for the game and the manager revealed that Everton have only got 14 players available, senior players available for this game. So let's hear what he had to say on that. We're stretched, unfortunately. We're down to about 14 recognised first-team players at the minute, so that's not perfect. Um, but the challenge is right in front of us, as always. And it's a big challenge and, you know, we, we are thin in numbers, but we have to go down there and take on the game like we always do mentioned some of the, the updates in the team news. Jared Ranthway obviously was played a huge role the last time you met Tottenham in the league. Um, where's he at with his recovery? And how yeah, he's been? still a bit away. He's, he's not close at the moment. Um, a few of the lads are getting a bit closer. Seamus is a bit closer. Um, Jimmy Garner is a bit closer, just coming back in training with the group. tarky has got a, a maybe situation, so we're going to have to look at that going into the next game. We obviously know the right-back situation with the um, uh, suspension of Young as well. Um, Youssef's a bit longer term as well. Um, Patterson's a bit longer term as well. So, still a challenge, you know, ongoing. Um, and and we haven't got much uh, situation to correct it with financially. So, we're just going to work with the players and, and hope their fitness uh, gets back, sorry, to being fully fit and then stay fit. Yeah, so it's a, it's a really bad situation at the moment. Um, Everton looking at it, you know, a completely changed back four, back, back three, bar Michalenko, really. Um, than from, from what we're used to. So, yeah, we're really, really um, struggling, certainly at the back at the moment, and it's going to be a very, very tough game against Spurs on Saturday. Um, and who knows, it mightn't even improve till after that international break. Um, and obviously two home games next week as well. We're just looking for a little bit of an upturn. And let's hope that, that could start at Spurs, maybe on Saturday, but we'll have to wait and see on that. Uh, there's been a report out today 
that uh, John Texas four potential suitors trying to buy his shares in Crystal Palace. He owns forty five percent of Crystal Palace, but has never had really a chance to be the owner just just due to the way um, the shares are made up there. So um, he can't obviously buy into Everton until he sells those Crystal Palace shares. Um, there's been obviously a lot of talk about him meeting Farad Mashiri, going down to the new stadium, going to Finch Farm, being in the Royal Live buildings this week. Everton have dismissed that, but there's uh, just a lot of talk out there that that's what has actually happened this week. In fact, Sky Sports News were at Finch Farm today for the press conference and reported from Finch Farm that John Texter had been at Finch Farm, even though Everton had been denying that fact, which was all is all a little bit strange. Um, reports are obviously that the deal could be done by the end of this week, but John Texter has to sell his shares in Crystal Palace before anything happens. Um, so. It's a get. It's again. It's a case of watch this space, and it's it's obviously this this whole situation is just very very draining for Everton fans. This has been going on for a couple of years, really, hasn't it? Been going on for a very very long time. Um, the potential of Farad Mashiri selling the club. Uh, ridiculous. The whole thing is really really ridiculous in a time when. It is, it is worrying because a lot of other clubs are spending money and are improving their squads. And, you know, of course, Everton finished you know, well clear of the relegation spaces last season. And obviously that's with, with the points deduction as well. But if everybody else is strengthening and Everton is struggling on that front, it just it just, it just just gives you that worry. And obviously the players being injured as well. So let's hope we can, uh, we can get that sorted. Uh, one way or another soon uh, make sure that you check out the match preview for the game on Saturday me and Baz have sat down and done a match preview also if you want to watch the full press conference with Sean Dyche it is available on Toffee TV as well make sure you check that out thanks for watching see you later